Hello, my name is John Oxendorf. I'm professor of architecture and engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and director of the Guastavino Project at MIT. The Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C., when it was built in the early 1900s, was known simply as the National Museum. The Guastavino Company arrived in the project rather late and were introduced by the architects McKim, Mead, and White, who were collaborating with the Washington architectural firm Hornblower and Marshall. The centerpiece of the National Museum was a grand dome, originally designed as a double dome, with a lower interior tile vaulted ceiling and then a taller dome above to make the building appear more monumental on the mall in Washington. The large floor of the central hall of the museum is supported by another Guastavino vault, which covers the Baird Auditorium below the rotunda. This ceiling is one of the most magnificent projects ever constructed by the Guastavino Company. It's extremely shallow, which makes it a very daring structure. It's load-bearing, it supports the weight of the floor above, and even supports one of the largest African elephants ever known. The Guastavino Company developed a shallow structural tile ceiling for the auditorium, which is still a marvel today for engineers in terms of its geometry and uh, lack of steel reinforcing. It's made possible by the heavy load coming from the dome above, which stabilizes the walls, and the intersecting arches or lunettes. Uh, coming from the sides, which serve as a ventilation system as well, serve a structural role in helping to buttress this very shallow tile ceiling. This space is one of the best kept secrets of Washington, D.C. architecture and uh, deserves to be celebrated for what it is, one of the absolute masterpieces of Guastavino construction.